Welcome to Goodwe Training Series. Today, we are going to introduce Zero Export Solution for Single Inverter. This solution applies for both single phase and three phase inverter with our GM meters and home kit series. You can refer to the table in the picture. Today, we are going to use our Goodwe XS and DNS G3 as the example to show you how to do it. Here are the tools we are going to use. Apart from the small blue screwdriver which is included in our accessory box of our GM and HomeKit series products, other tools need to be prepared separately. The DIN rail and the voltage sampling cable as well, and the width of the DIN rail is 3.5 cm, 1.40 inch. Here are the accessories for applicable for the solutions we've demonstrated previously, including CT-90, HomeKit 1000 and GM-1000. First, standard solution, single phase inverter and CT-90. As there are only two pins of the single CT-90, we just simply put the cable through the gland and connect to the corresponding CT pins to the communication terminals using the small blue screwdriver we've included in the accessory box. Then install the terminal to the gland and make sure you hear the click sound. After that, tighten the gland at the end of the terminal. Install it onto the corresponding communication of the XS inverter. Before clapping the CT, make sure the installation location is the grid interconnection point, and the wire direction is from house to grid. Open the CT and clap on the wire with a click sound. Second, retrofit solution, single phase inverter and GM1000. Here is the wiring diagram that we use GM meter and CT as another optional solution. First, Insert the twisted pair cable to the terminals we provided in the accessory box and crimp the terminals with the crimping pliers. Then use the screwdriver to fix the terminals onto the RS-485 poles of the GM meter. As the communication terminals are inside the inverter, we need to unscrew the terminal cover first and pass the communication cable through it. Strip the outer insulation sleeve of the cable and install it to the green 2-pin terminal we provide. Then insert toe the CT or meter pin. For other inverter model, please kindly refer to the user manual. Reinstall the cover back to the inverter. Tighten the gland to squeeze the internal rubber for waterproofing. Then install the meter. Pull out the clap and install the DIN rail, and push the clap to fix it. Then, install the power cable on N and L1 poles of the meter. Same as the single CT solution, clap the CT to the right place with right direction. Then power the meter on. Third, retrofit solution, single phase inverter and home kit 1000. You can follow our second solution to complete the RS-485 cable. Install the home kit 1000. Install power cable. And install the CT. For detailed instruction, you can refer to the HomeKit 1000 user manual. After completing the installation of above three solutions, you can use the integrated LCD or SolarGo app to configure the export control settings according to your demand. Export, Power Limit Setting First, open SolarGo app. Connect to the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth of the inverter. Login. Select More. Advanced setting. Export, power limit setting. Then turn on the function. Finally, fill in zero in both of these two blanks and click the button to enable the zero export function. That's all for the zero export solution for single inverter. Thank you for watching. For more installation and configuration videos of Goodwe training series, Please visit our Goodwe community and stay tuned to our official account.